administer insulin using insulin pen. Insulin is a life-saving medication for diabetics. However, there is no such thing as an insulin pill. It can only be administered as a shot. However, modern syringes and insulin pens are much easier to use and less painful than previous generations. Many people claim that taking an insulin shot causes them almost no pain. How is insulin administered? There are two ways to administer insulin to yourself, vials or pens. If you're going to use a vial, you'll also need syringes. Pen needles are required if you are using a pen. Both the syringes and the pen needles can be discarded after use. It is common to use multiple types of insulin. Mealtime insulin is taken before meals to help manage blood glucose spikes caused by food, sugar. Long-acting insulin, which must be taken at the same time every day, helps to manage blood glucose levels throughout the day. Your healthcare provider will tell you when and how much insulin to take. Common Insulin Injection Sites The typical locations for injecting insulin are shown in the diagram. Injection Procedure Your diabetes educator or another health care provider will have shown you how to administer your shots. Here's a recap. Choose your spot. Insulin can be injected into your upper arms or thighs your abdomen above or below your waist or your buttocks. Scars, moles and the area around the belly button should be avoided. To protect your skin and ensure that the insulin is absorbed, use the same area but change the spot where you give your shot each time. Get the insulin ready. Some insulins must be mixed before being administered. If you use this type, your provider will notify you. Fill the syringe if you are using one. To begin, draw an amount of air into the syringe equal to your insulin dose. Fill the vial with air. The insulin should then be drawn up into the syringe. Examine for air bubbles. Tapping the syringe should break up the bubbles and allow you to receive the full dose. Insulin shots should be administered into a fatty layer of your skin known as subcutaneous or SC tissue. Insert the needle at a 90 degree angle. Unless you are using a longer needle, you do not need to pinch up the skin. 6.8 to 12.7 mm Injecting at a 45 degree angle may be necessary for small children or very thin adults. Wait 5 seconds before inserting the needle. Counting to 10 is a good way to ensure that all of the insulin has been absorbed. Remove the syringe or pen needle. It is not recommended to use needles more than once because the needle becomes dull with each use and becomes more painful. Disposal and Storage Refrigerate vials and pens until they have been opened. If the insulin freezes, it must be discarded. Once you've started using a vial or pen, keep it at room temperature less than 86 degrees Fahrenheit and out of direct sunlight. When you take insulin at room temperature, it is less painful. It may be good for 14 to 40 days after opening, depending on the type of insulin. Check the package insert or consult your pharmacist or healthcare provider. Clear insulin that has become cloudy or any insulin that has become clumpy should not be used. For information on how to properly dispose of your used needles, check with your town or municipality or country. In many locations, used needles may be placed in a container that cannot be punctured, such as an empty laundry detergent bottle. 
close the container's top with tape and place it in the trash, not the recycling container.